Hey Leo, what's up? <clears throat> Leo, let's see. What is the current situation? We have the Empress. Wow. So I feel that right now, Leo, right now, Leo, you guys are on your own. You guys are very self-sufficient, very focused on yourself, your career, your growth, to a point where you're not chasing. You're attracting. Okay. I feel for a lot of you, you've just cut out all the bullshit, all the nonsense from your life. You're just focused on yourself, your body, taking care of yourself, looking good, looking sexy, you know, very focused on your body for a lot of you. And uh, there's a lot of career growth, financial growth is also what I'm getting here. But because you're in this energy right now, there could be a lot of people that you're attracting currently. Okay. Now... <clears throat> Uh, I feel you guys are disconnecting from someone, okay? There is someone out here who probably um, has uh, had you in a third party situation, okay? And for the others of you, maybe this person out here uh, cheated, okay? Or they just want to be on their own right now is what I'm getting, okay? We'll, we'll see. We'll find that out more uh, in a little bit more. Now, how to, okay, for you, there is no communication. When you view this connection, you feel there's no communication from this person. So what's the point of waiting? Which is why you're choosing to move forward. There is no 100% clarity on what is going on in this connection. Be it a new connection, be it an old connection out here. What you're doing is this entire area is like, you know what, I'm just going to focus on myself. I'm doing well for myself and I'm just, it's going to be all about me, 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 me. Your entire focus is you nurturing yourself, caring about yourself. You know, probably if you have kids, you're taking care of your kids. You're being a good mommy. You know, it uh, doesn't matter which gender it is, baby. You're being a good father, whatever it is. But there's a lot of self-love coming in, okay, at play right now. The kind of person that you're dealing with, this person out here, a part of them knows that they need to make this decision, but they're still trying to stay in their comfort zone they have a lot of fear of the unknown and um, you know this person that you are in i feel this is a long distance relationship okay but a few of you and i feel that they know they need to make that choice but they have so much of fear of the unknown they're sticking to the safer bed now safer bed does not mean that they're sticking on to someone else could be for a few of you this good person could be sticking on to someone else okay maybe they chose them over you and that's the safer bed for the others of you the safer bed or sticking to the uh, known or being in their comfort zone is like whether wanting to commit to you or whether completely just staying single okay because i don't feel right now i feel a part of them knows that you don't want reconciliation right now or they're not ready to reconcile with you is what I'm getting out here. Now, let's see, why is all this happening? Is because the Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. So, Wheel of Fortune is the universe promising you a 180 degrees flip, be it in your love life, be it in your state of mind, be it in your feelings. Something's changing overnight. There's going to be an overnight shift out here. And... You still have this person out here watching you. Okay, I feel this person is just still watching you. You know, I feel for a lot of you, this person out here temporarily, temporarily, they may be disconnecting from you. Maybe this is them disconnecting. And uh, you are not ready to make that decision yet. That's the outcome. Let's see. Maybe the clarification comes. What's the uh, empress? Yeah, you're cutting this person out and moving forward. Six of swords. <laughs> yeah, this is them. So that's them. That's not you. This is their side. So that's what they're doing. They are wanting to come towards you with a peaceful resolution, with a peaceful solution. They want communication. This person wants to apologize. But look at you. Whoa. <laughs> Empress and Queen of Swords. <clears throat> You're in that no nonsense, no bullshit approach. You waited forever. Okay. You let go of the reins. You let go of control issues. And look what you're bringing in. This person's coming back. So for a lot of you, this could be a long distance relationship. And I feel that this person out here is choosing to travel towards you. Traveling is one of the biggest solutions if you guys want to make this work out, is what I feel. Okay, and they want to communicate with you. Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah. You're choosing to disconnect yourself from, I, from a third party situation, is what I'm getting. I feel you waited for a very long time for this person either to make a choice between you and someone else. 
maybe this person was uh there was a lot of gossip around or maybe this person chose another situation over you but you're just choosing to disconnect you finally waited 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 now you've changed your perspective and you're taking action and moving forward you're no longer staying stuck in that situation this is sorts in reverse <clears throat> yeah they view this connection as lack of clarity like i said there is no communication out here but now they feel they wasted a lot of time okay maybe they wasted a lot of time in waiting for opportunities to come in and opportunities came in too but i feel they were all missed opportunities because they were very focused on the negative part of the relationship or they were very focused on what didn't work out or focused on how it didn't work out you know so that lot of apathy uh, a lot of lack of interest a lot of lack uh, a lot of demotivation okay you know how you have that motivation to make something happen there was a lack of planning there was a lack of organizing there was a lack of being practical okay they weren't being practical they were being very emotional which is why the opportunities kept going away you know and for some of you maybe this person had other options but they were just not interested in those options too so they sunk in and sunk in and sunk in now they are ready to give you uh the offer that you have been waiting for or they're ready to communicate with you i feel they're opening up the communication lines okay but they do see that there is a lack of clarity out here <clears throat> yeah i feel that uh you guys out here you view this connection as someone where you know there is just no decision out here there's so much indecision there's so much indecision out here i don't feel you guys have completely let this person go but it's more like you know what i don't even want to fight for this all right so neither are you telling this person you know what go to hell i'm done with you neither are you like you know what all right let's sit down and talk about this you're in between why because you think that's the safer decision to make what if this person changes and comes back to you or what if you give them a chance and it doesn't work out at all so you don't want to do you you don't want any solution so what you're doing is you're sitting in the middle and trying to stay safe and what you're doing is you're trying to run away from any kind of conflict or run away from any kind of confrontation you don't even want that confrontation because probably the confrontation um the confrontation um brings in a lot of drama and chaos and that's the last thing that you want clap at the king of pentacles you're focusing on yourself yeah you're giving up either you guys are moving towards someone new someone who's ready to give you that security stability marriage and make you an offer or this is you giving up and very focused on your money okay you're just being extremely pragmatic guys you're being very logical and very practical right now okay i feel you guys are being very practical right now what's the wheel of fortune So if there has been no communication out here that's what's changing. There is going to be communication coming in out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. A situation that has been stuck and stagnant for a very long time is going to get the, the it's going to you know move out of nowhere. You're just going to be very surprised when you get communication from this person. That's what's going to change. that's what's going to change and it's going to change drastically you're not going to be expecting communication from them although you're giving up on this person or you already gave up on this person you're surrendering no longer putting in the strength out here okay but uh you're focused on you what's this person out here let's see page of swords yeah they want to avoid disaster which is why i feel for some of you this person communicates with you but it's not like full blown communication i feel that the communication comes in with like a lot of testing of the waters maybe they'll start off with a hey how are you or something like that just to see if you're still uh ready to talk to them you know and for the others of you this person's going to take a little bit longer there's a little bit of delayed communication but it's coming in regardless but this person out here knows that there was a tower moment between you both and now they want to rebuild the connection okay they're ready to build from scratch and this time around in a in a in a good way okay with no faulty foundation what's the moon in reverse yeah the truth is to feel that this person's coming back they are releasing all the fear that they had all this while okay whatever has been shut off whatever has been um uh was a question mark everything's going to come out okay this person like i said the mystery is going to be out the mystery is going to be unveiled is what i'm getting there's a release of fear out here and 
whatever is being released is and whatever is coming towards you is this person coming right back at you but look at you you're going to be ready to cut this person off no bullshit no nonsense approach you know i don't want that lame page of cups somebody i don't think that page of cups is going to help no nah, that page of cups ain't helping at least not with the third party situation they got to come come towards you with something more concrete so that's what i have for you all right hope this reading resonates i'll see you next time